This is how you set up your SCSI devices in your EMU ESI32. In this case, I have connected both a zip file and a Zulu SCSI uh, using the same ribbon cable. So you just need a 50 pin flat cable with ribbons with at least two additional connections. So you connect the first one here. So you simply make sure that your red pin, which is indicated here, is pin one, which is in the front of the, of the device. And then you connect both the zip file here, again, with one of the terminals, and the Zulu SCSI with the other one. The Zulu SCSI doesn't need any kind of power supply. It will be powered by the SCSI bus, while the, the zip drive still needs to use the power from the, from the floppy disk. So I have used this. So I can put this here and close it and see if everything works together. Now let's try to see if it works. Sorry for the bad reflections on camera. So let's power the unit and it boots normally, as you can see. Is it, it is ch still checking for the floppy, which is uh, not there anymore, of course. But the SCSI bus is working. He has mounted all the drives, so now I have a couple of images on my Zulu SCSI. Here we have the Z uh, zip on disk 1, and then I also have a couple of images on disk 2 and 6. I have moved the ASI32 on disk 0. So if I simply want to load something from the zip file, on the zip drive, sorry, I select the zip and then I can load something from the iOmega zip. If I want to move back and load something else from disk 2, I simply select the Zulu SCSI and then load. And then I can load everything else from this drive. 